if you think about what is going on, there is so much change. It's coming at us from so many directions. It is so overwhelming. It's so all-encompassing that increasingly it's not legacy, it's not what we've done in the past, not past success that defines our ability to align ourselves to the future. It's speed, it's agility, it's flexibility. The future belongs to those who are fast. Jim Carroll is one of the world's leading global international futurists, trends and innovation experts with a massive global blue chip client list. And I think a lot of folks don't appreciate that their industry is due to be challenged in very fundamental ways because it is all too easy for us to put blinders on. Over the last 25 years, more than two million people shared in his insight at global events at which he speaks. So to help us better understand this rapidly changing world and the hazards and opportunities that it presents, please welcome futurist, trends and technology expert, Jim Carroll. Let's give a really warm welcome. I'm glad the room is full again to one of the leading futurologists in the world, Jim Carroll. His global client list gives him a front row seat to the high velocity change occurring as disruption and acceleration come to take hold of every single industry and every single organization. The challenges are vast, the trends are significant, the speed is staggering. All of us feel overwhelmed by a fast-paced future. And it depends on you, on to how you take this message. Some people see the future and see a threat. Innovators see the same future and see an opportunity. What I want to do here today is I want to put in perspective the trends which are going to shape your world. In Bill Gates' observation that most people tend to overestimate the rate of change that will occur in a two-year basis, we underestimate how much change will occur in a 10-year basis. The key to figuring out the future is when are these trends going to become real? When are we going to have self-driving trucks and self-driving cars? When are we going to have flying cars? When are we going to have drone delivery vehicles? It's all found in something that we call the Gartner Hype Cycle. Jim aligns his clients to the future by providing highly customized trends and industry research delivered in a compelling motivational style. On stage, he outlines the reality of the era of acceleration and what happens when change happens faster than the speed of fast. Industries used to own their future and they no longer do. What is happening here with the Internet of Things is control of the speed of innovation is shifting from within industry and it's moving to Silicon Valley. It's moving to technology workers. It's moving to organizations who can innovate and change a heck of a lot faster. You know the change which is happening and coming at you is relentless. And what are you going to do to innovate in the context of that reality? Because if you don't become a part of it, they're gonna disrupt you and they're gonna change things at their own pace. What are you going to decide to do to turn those challenges into opportunities? Jim Carroll spends his time undertaking extensive and detailed research into the most significant trends of our time. He brings this insight and his vast industry experience to the stage with a highly customized presentation based upon the very particular and specific needs of his clients. Now I spend time with a tremendous range of different organizations putting in perspective the speed of the trends which are unfolding in our world. And I want to take you on a, on a tour of those trends. I think we live in an absolutely magical period of time. I equate today to 1993, when the World Wide Web first appeared, and everybody sat back and went, whoa, there's something big going on. Where so many trends are all of a sudden coming together all at once. Virtual reality, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, self-driving cars, Big data and analytics, the internet of things. You know, we are in a world in which, in the world of healthcare, we are talking about the emergence of real-time analytical predictive healthcare dashboards. Devices which help us predict the emergence of healthcare conditions in real time. We are in a world in which trucks today contain more technology than a Cessna airplane. We are in a world in which what is happening is the knowledge that is required in industries is changing. Mercedes-Benz is going out and investing a billion dollars to get the insight and the capabilities into battery science and battery and electric vehicles and self-driving vehicles. In the world of agriculture, we are talking about real-time analytical predictive crop dashboards. Think about where the ultimate voyage of precision farming takes us. It takes us to a world in which we have detailed, almost instant insight into plant health, into disease, into moisture, into humidity, into crop growing rates. 
We are in a world in which organizations and industries are establishing ecosystems to help them put in place the knowledge and the skills and the capabilities to take themselves into the faster future. And what are you doing to align yourself to new ecosystems to take yourself into a world in which increasingly just-in-time knowledge, the ability for niche knowledge, knowledge partnerships, complexity partnerships are defining your future. But wait, there's more. We live in a period of time of absolute instant obsolescence, where stuff that has been part of our life is becoming something from the olden days, and it's happening before our very eyes. Jim Carroll brings to the stage the stark reality of our world of disruptive, transformative change, but he challenges and motivates his audience to align themselves to the future by accelerating their innovative and creative mindset. 60% of Apple's revenue comes from products that didn't exist four years ago. You know, think about what they do. They continually reinvent themselves. They continually generate new forms of revenue where that revenue has not existed before. Think about your own company. Think about your own industry. Could you be in a situation in which 60% of your organization's revenue comes from products that did not exist as of today's conference? We all know the statistics around idea generation. 70% of ideas come from shared ideas. If I have an idea and you have an idea, that's two ideas. If we share our ideas, that's something powerful. And the challenge put forth to you is how do you collaborate in the context of a fast-paced world? How do you do things differently? Well, you know what's different now is speed. All of these trends we just walked through, what is different now is the speed with which these trends are unfolding. I don't think innovation is just new products. To me, innovation is an organization that is continually challenging itself with three questions. What do I do to run this business better? What do I do to grow this business? And what do I do to transform the business? Organizations that have had Jim Carroll in for their events or leadership meetings include NASA, Disney, Mercedes-Benz, the Swiss Innovation Forum, Godiva Chocolates, the World Government Summit, and DuPont. Jim Carroll, a motivational futurist for the digital age. Some people see a trend and see a threat. Real innovators see the same trend and see an opportunity. Right? I want you to think about where you are going to be in your 2025, 2030, 2035, and how you turn these real trends unfolding at blinding speed into opportunity, because the choice is clear. Change your future before the future changes you. Be innovative, be open, align yourself to the future, because the future is going to happen to you before you know it. The future is going to happen whether you like it or not. These trends are going to unfold. Business models are going to be disrupted. Change is going to happen. Skills are going to accelerate. Things are going to speed up. And you have a simple choice in front of you. My message to you is simple. Think big, start small, scale fast.